uh, you know, the Kaya Sanj becomes a lot tankier in that regard. But the rest of the lineup, you know, you chase a hoodwink in the tree, she's dead. Disruptor is, you jumper is dead. PA is most likely going to go for like a Battle Fury build. You jumper, she's dead. So a lot of good targets here for the Storm and the Chicken Fighters roster to really get aggressive, especially because they also have a Razor as their safe lane. So it, they're all active about 10, 15 minutes before Brame is. What is this? Look at this, by the way. Brame, Chicken Fighter, everyone's going bottom. This is not where we fight, guys. This is unacceptable, but the fight breaking out nonetheless. A full 5v5. Storm's a bit slow. Bora wishes he could have been here, although with level 1 Static Remnant. I don't really see how this fight looks much differently. And now the deforestation begins. Peksu not having many trees to play around here. But both Brame and Chicken Fighters, uh, what the heck? They, have they agreed to meet here beforehand? What is going on? Another Nature's Grasp here is pretty good, but Shibe is going to be the target first from Brame. That last Thunder Strike, not going to be quite enough damage. And he will live on 30 HP. Nefert, in the meantime, retreating underneath his Tier 1 tower as they are vulnerable until the game begins. That even though there's a lot of action in a place I've never seen before, it's still no first blood. The and all those bounties can be retrieved if you're just fast enough, of course, with the Weaver, you could be able to secure them, but Wish quickly gonna grab one as well. Is Spartan fast enough to dodge everything? There should be two, Retreat. might even be three, Retreat. but I think the Weaver should be just barely fast enough to uh, circumvent Spartan. He's gonna try though, going for the peak. Yeah, but a little bit too fast there. is that Weaver. Yeah, Spartan gets off the projectile, but of course, pretty slow moving projectile. Pretty slow moving hero. Even though he has a mount, Hero's going to do well to get in a little bit of extra harass on the way through. A little bit of sprawl in here. Not going to be too interesting. Uh, they shouldn't end up dying. Although it is Spartan, but he'll be fine. He'll be fine. That's most of his mana, though. Only has one mango. The magic stick with eight charges is definitely a big plus. So he uh, will be able to refresh his mana pool quite decently. But yeah, d d normally Disruptors love to spam their spells. However, it did not result in much so far in the early game. Yeah, Spartan's completely out of mana now, but there's going to be the Mango consumed. Still eight stick charges. Great stick lane here. Mar is utilizing this. I mean, it's a great stick lane for everyone. Does everyone have a stick? Everyone's got a stick. Hera doesn't have one ah. just yet. He's got it in the quick buy, though. That counts. Not really. If only it worked that way. Then it would make this entire game broken. Luckily, it doesn't work that way. Nonetheless, uh, there... I mean, it's... Yeah, the, the early fight in the bottom lane was very interesting to see. I like the idea. They just want to cut down all the trees to make sure that Pex doesn't have anywhere to start <laughs> in the laning stage. And oh. then Eleven can constantly cut down the trees... Uh, every once in a while to make sure that it doesn't respawn, however... Not for it. Ooh, just Ooh. barely gonna live. That gush instrumental, otherwise Aqua probably gets off another Link attack, and even though it was only 24 damage stolen, would have gotten the kill. Bora versus Wish in mid. Just a lot of harass magic damage coming out. Bora doesn't really have kill potential until he gets Electric Vortex. And Wish makes a big fat mistake. But yeah, the bottles will keep him healthy in the process. <laughs> the lanes are going pretty even. Eleven struggling a little bit now that all the trees have instantaneously respawned. Yeah, now he's going to be able to actually have uh, a little bit of an easier time. And potentially even set up a kill. Aqua, uh, yeah, he's got brown boots on the way. Here they are, about to be delivered. Wand assembled. It would be go time. You know, the boots reveal, as uh, everyone always knows, is the most powerful time in a lane. And for a razor is, you know, not an insignificant power spike, of course. A hero that relies on uh, keeping a, a, a set distance in order to set up for a kill. Uh, Spartan, Spartan is, he decides he wants to go home. Yeah. Okay, that was an interesting choice, considering he had, like, almost full HP full mana. I, I but... was going to say. <laughs> I, I don't, I, you know, again, if, if you've watched me last season when I had the absolute pleasure 
of getting to cast a lot of Brame games in third-party tournaments. Oh my goodness, do you know I love casting some Spartan games because he just does stuff like this. I, I, I genuinely think, in his mind, the reason he does that, I looked mid to see if his mid laner desperately needed a bottle refill. No, two charges uh, with a fresh water rune. That wasn't the case. You know who needed the refill? You know who needed heals immediately? It was Nefret. He's, he decides it is so crucial that we get these heals. I'm going to feed underneath the tier 2 tower and come back with the cell for you. Now that, that's a support. That is uh, definitely not the position five that I play, because <laughs> that is <laughs> that is too supporty for my, my taste. Just suiciding full HP, full mana. I mean, the worst part is if you die right now, then you'd be completely oh. like you'd leave Nefit alone in the lane. Luckily yeah. enough, that is not the case at the moment. Era being chased, but he's got massive heals. Yeah, Instant he's good. Massive heals. And they actually get a second bottom. Nefrit is going to be uh, sorry. Make that. Uh, now they're going to get that kill. Hold on, Shibe brought back pretty far here. That glimpse is uh, going to do well to put Shibe in a bit of a harrowing spot. However, I should say, Nefret did lose uh, his full orb of corrosion. It was, excuse me, about to be delivered before it was sniped by Ira. That's uh, kind of a feels bad, especially because he's missing the HP components. And who knows, with maybe a little bit more minus armor, Weaver ends up dying there. No, I think the minus armor. Yeah, it's one more minus armor. Probably not that big of a difference. I mean, the, it's still very annoying. Oh, Spartan! Well, you know, he wants to die underneath the tower. He can die underneath the tower, <laughs> for all Zimba cares. <laughs> ah, did he get speared under? He got speared under. What a lad! What a lad! Well, and one came up with lead for chicken fighters right now. Right, yo. Uh, I, I don't know why it becomes so British, but let me tell you about this mid lane advantage that Wish has. Look at this, 34 CS, 13 denies? Wow. That's... He just that's... bullies Bora all the way back with uh, the Shadow Strike spam. Like, yeah. That's... A full level ahead right now. Haven't had a kill successfully so far, and a full level ahead. Yeah. That's uh, very impressive. Still both heroes farming the side camps quite efficiently. There's a TP coming, though. It's going to be the first from Wish. Perhaps he saw last game the emotional damage onto Chicken Fighters. This is mental damage. It started going poorly for them when the co-op rotated bottom before, this time at least sparingly. It's not a double kill on the Sonic Wave. It's not the Stormstormer rotation. But the Wish special is still just as good, and it'll get them a kill onto the safe lane Razor. Top lane, the bugs connect. They need to quickly get rid of it. Spartan making sure Nafid's bugs get dropped first because good boy support. <laughs> of course. And the big plus is uh, Bora is now level 6, so uh, it's going to be tough for the Quap to kill him. Yep. Unless, of course, he runs out of mana and you know, he makes a fat mistake, but uh, doubtful. Yeah, I'm kind of curious because both teams... They both have a mid laner that's uh, somewhat weak, even with level sixes, well, level six and blink respectively on these mid laners. That could be a little bit weak to an enemy uh, support rotating over. Um, but I'd be much more afraid of Brame supports rotating mid lane if I was the mid laner in this game. Uh, because what is a weaver in a tree reasonably going to do to you compared to a glimpse or a bushwhack from a mile away? That strikes me as a little bit scarier of, an, of a proposition. Are you actually not expecting that overgrowth to just hold him in place, <laughs> give him the worst time of his life? Uh, surprise overgrowth, just like a surprise zip top lane. There's that glimpse, and it's good enough to get Nefret no! underneath his tower, but that will be his final resting place. Wish with an invis rune is going to secure the kill onto Era. Shibe is holding onto the arena here, and is maybe looking for an opportunity to use it. However, we'll just settle for spearing a squirrel. Bottom, 11, cutting the way pretty far from the tower and is now going to be forced to TP away. No! Stuns is what I was, the word I was searching for here between the <laughs> I two was heroes. Already, no! Okay, what's the no? <laughs> 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 yes, I, I was also inconspicuously saying no to the cat who was trying to come back in. Uh, oh, <laughs> he's lurking towards that power button. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. But, uh, oh, goodness. Okay, but so far, pretty even game. Uh, Chicken Fighters still looking 
pretty good uh, as, as far as where they were at last game. Still very much so in a fighting position. Again, with the Tree Protector, even though your mid tower is taking some chip damage, not to worry, Frendo. Uh, he's already got one point here in the Living Armor and probably will end up going for the Holy Locket. Uh, looking at the build he's got now. They're fighting this time. Storm looking for the rotation down bottom. 11, not quite yet. Level 6, and the Creeper is not going to give it to him, but Wish with the rotation on over is going to get the nuke first onto uh, the Razor. And Peksu, still searching for this kill on 211, is only going to find the Anchor Smash. That is a warm but wet welcome. Down he will go. That's going to be now two rotations from Bora. This one's a bit better, but it still ends up with a dead safe laner. Yeah, the, the rotations for the Storm ain't as successful as the ones for the Quap. Unsurprisingly, Quap's amazing. Uh, but yeah, the Sonic Wave just doing so much work in that fight. And uh, a very deep dive to try and kill off a Tide. Not necessarily the hero that you want to ever really go on, because Kraken Shell is a thing. And just in general, the, the damage reduction from the Anchor Smash. And right now even has a Ravage available. So uh, Tide is probably the last hero that you want to try and dive. It's true. Especially yeah. considering the enemy has a PA. Yeah, and I think he's even less appetizing now that uh, he's big enough to turn around and Ravage you. Uh, especially in a very run-at-you kind of team. It's not going to be too promising. No really great way to deal with this uh, threat either, right? Uh, in our first series of the day, we had a Grimstroke to kind of keep the tide at bay. And uh, that's always an effective solution, of course. This time around, an Orchid is going to be the idea from Borania. That can leave him a little bit worse for wear. Is it a, uh, that, of course, is not in itself a defensive item. So it could leave him in a bad spot, especially if these ganks don't start to go more decisively his way. Not going too badly for him now, but it could be going better. I wish his, uh, well, the Kaya Sanj, of course, is always solid to have. One of the, I, like every mid laner gets it. Currently, Bora is going for, of course, the Orchid, unsurprisingly, because that is probably the best way to deal with the Queen of Pain in the early parts. However, Bora is going to be the one that's going to be dealt oh, with. Yeah. The snipe on top. And taken down with a nice rotation. And Brain, they're starting to really show their threat with uh, Wish in the front line. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And this is kind of the only problem I saw with their draft, is they just don't have the best tower hitters. Um, you know, you, you've got decent push, decent wave clear, but uh, yeah, with Ira clearing the wave, the wagon's going to oh. go down, and there's not much of a push remaining here as they're looking for Shibe down bottom. Eleven doing a bit <laughs> of a backstroke here as he's just out of there. Shibe committing the arena for that, not finding, well, anything despite the full level 2 static link. Razor giving chase as Ira's going to give the vision on almost everyone with the bugs here. Big ol' zip from Bora. Incoming. 4-11. In he goes. He's going to look for Spartan first. Out comes the Ravage. He's caught a couple of heroes. Wish with a two-man scream of pain into the Sonic Wave. That's reserved for you, Bora. Music to his ears. Or at least if you're Wish. Not for Bora, though. Not how he wanted that one to go. And uh, that's going to be, uh, of course, Skylark. Or as he goes by now, 11. Quite happy with that turn. I mean, what? again. What? Sharpshooter? You spent All right. Sorry to cut you off there. Easy Just pick. a quick, quick pick off. Okay. Overgrowth is for two. We're still fighting here. Sure, that's going to be a kill onto 11. Surely. Surely it's a kill onto 11. Yes. Okay. We got Aqua from behind closing the door, but now Shibe in a lot of trouble as the Bushwhack's going to catch him. They find <laughs> PA's like, we're fighting. They're like, nah, nah, just keep farming. We're good. There's the glimpse. Perfectly timed for Spartan. And Peksu, he's got nowhere to go. Only a couple of heals. Maybe he kills a squirrel. Perhaps he kills a squirrel. No, that's not happening. They are going to take down the train. And it all starts with, so far, three fights that they've attempted on the chicken fighter side. They're like, oh, a tide with a hood of defiance. That must be the easiest target in the world. Soaking all the ults, all the damage, and then eventually they run out of HP, run out of mana, run out of spells. And then the Quap and the rest of Brain walk in to finish the job. Get themselves even more kills. While all of this is going on, if he's just free farming, trying to get that Battle Fury, it's not the fastest timing, but it's also not the worst. Not the worst. We saw a 60-minute Battle Fury earlier um, today, as there's going to be a quick kill onto the... Quick, quick kill on the Weaver, pardon me. Cat's got my tongue. <laughs> and uh, a lot of the power here. But that's going to be enough for them to repel the push quite effectively from Brame. 
Not the best tower push either from Chicken Fighters early. They do have some pretty scary team fight to back up their, their push, their siege, I would call. Uh, as does Brain. Both teams, I would say, quite similar in this regard, where you've got an off laner whom you'd, you'd much rather keep your distance from. Uh, a mid laner with a ton of nuke damage, some annoying supports to poke and prod from behind and potentially catch your mid laner who likes to be evasive. But then again, your tower hitter is just not that good. If Aqua decides to join the fight, I would still give the advantage to uh, Chicken Fighters. But, of course, this PA, not yet done farming. Right now, the push, as slow as it may be, is going to be effective for bottom. They're going to take down the tower. Wish they have eyes for him. They will be looking to chase. Aqua and Shibe head into the trees where they scout 11, holding on to the Ravage and very likely to hold on to it until his dying breath. As well, he's not really going anywhere at all. Back on the chase here. The Squirrel in trouble. Can't hide in the trees, not versus the Treants. But it seems like they lack the damage here for the Hoodwink. Unless Ira fancies to go for a bit of a dive. He's got a ward here that. in the lane. <laughs> Hoodwink's killed you that uh, way a yeah. couple of times before. <laughs> go too close. Yeah, and Bram are Wish still has Zult. showing up in numbers. There is the pullback perfectly timing that the break onto Shibe, but Wish couldn't have the blink in time. Now he has it out of the arena. He goes, turns for the Sonic Wave. That's going to be good for the pushback onto Era into the Static Storm for him. And even with Nefert showing up, he will be rewarded with the kill. Once again, Chicken Fighter is not a bad idea to fight. Genuinely, not a bad idea to fight because it's, it's a promising catch there onto the Queen of Pain in the arena, but she's still a Sonic Wave. There's still a Static Storm. Skylock is respawning soon with a Ravage. You've already lost your tower. Are you realistically going to push there? That just seems like a, a, a very questionable decision, right? A, am I the only one in that? Uh, no, I, I think currently they, uh, they know that they're on the timer. You're playing okay. against the PA. You're always on the timer. Uh, so they're trying to push the objective, though they really need to find their targets better, maybe get a smoke yeah. gang, find the supports, especially that Hoodwink is just doing way too much work at the moment. Yep. And, and, and here's so why I say that. Here's why I say that, right? Because Bora, now he's got Orchid. Presumably he was off in the jungle pinging, guys, I need 200 gold for Orchid. Let's wait and fight. Wait to use Arena on that co-op, and then I'll show up, silence her, and we get a kill. Uh, now she's got the full Sanjin Kaya. What is that, 22% status resist here on that silence? That might be the difference between life and death on this hero through a silence, because there is no save for her. She just has to be tanky. Smoke play now. Oh. And there is oh, a the save is always that nasty tight, you know? You yeah, with the ravage. ravage. That that could be. That's Pipe a good almost. point. That's a good point. Not quite the save Pipe we saw almost, last game with the ABBA. Huge, yeah, yeah. Well, the ABBA, he got completely... Destroyed. <laughs> he did. They all got destroyed. You got the save, but if the save doesn't really save you, then there's absolutely no use for it. No, no, that's a good point. Era? Full pipe now done. Good timing for Brain. Such a frustrating thing to play against the Treant, isn't it? You oh, make a no. tier 1 Sour Siege, you come back, the tower's even more healed. 15 minute wave, this tier 1 tower's still alive, but to, be, to Graham's credit, as is theirs. Skylarker's like, wait, I'm a Tide. I can tank Tier 1 Towers forever. And he's going to do so for the wagon. Bora, unwilling to make this jump and reveal his item, being that Orchid. As the wave now able to soak some tower damage up. Brame, still not really committing to this push. And now that they see the Orchid, they're out of there. They're going to look for a better engagement. Without the blink on Shibe, and uh, without any vision, like we have here, they're a, a little bit too unwilling to make the jump. 11, still holding on to the Ravage. Holding, holding, holding. He's got diamond hands, because he's holding until the next life. Down goes yeah, himself he, uh, and Spartan. He really wants to get a big, fat Ravage going on. And in that jump, I don't know what happened to him, but he just slid past the wall <laughs> and uh, took a bunch of damage in the process. But, uh, yeah, they get themselves a very quick catch on the high ground. Nicely yeah. done there by the chicken fights, because uh, that also includes the Tier 1 tower, opening up the map a lot more against the storm. A a bit more control in the dire jungle so that he can get those hips and uh, surprise catches. But doing all of that, in the meantime, the feet was just farming away. He's done with the Battle Fury. He's going for the Mant uh, Manta Cell next, which is not too surprising considering you are playing against a tree and, and Orchid. So you need to get be able to get out of them where you don't necessarily want to use a BKB before the overgrowth would come out, for instance. Oh, yeah. And I think right now, the problem that Chicken Fighters are kind of facing is that Bora does not want to be the first one in, not versus the Static Storm threat. 
um, unless he can get guaranteed eyes on the disruptor. That's the only way he's willing to go in first in these fights. Mars is not a bad, you know, first initiator because he doesn't really care about being Static Stormed, especially if it gives uh, the go and the green light to his Razor and his Storm. But he just doesn't have the Blink yet. He's only still operating with this onlet, and he's not going for Blink. Uh, so I think this means that Chicken Fighters are going to be forced just to play around the vision of their supports, like they are here in the Triangle, as Era secures the kill and sets that one up there uh, for the Storm Spirit, just to kill onto a Squirrel. But this is kind of what you need to get the snowball re-rolling here on the Storm Spirit. Because he didn't have that bad of an early game, but it wasn't really that runaway Sumail-type Storm Spirit game we, we're used to seeing, potentially, on the hero. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, I think uh, the biggest playmaker on the side of Brame is that Hoodwink. So uh, taking him down is going to be very influential. He's got like two, three kills onto Era, uh, pretty much single-handedly for his team. And now the Weaver is playing very aggressively. I guess he's looking for a courier to take down, but in the meantime, Spartan knows exactly where Era is headed. Gets the static storm kinetic field off. Don't know if this is a kill. Can they get the stun? Oh yes, indeed. Gets the patch snipe. Nope. Oh, he gets the time lapse. Gets away while bottom lane. You have Wish getting taken down by the arena. Oh, that's huge. I can't believe I missed that one. Wish goes down to the arena, very likely as well, and Orchid involved, and to some degree, and. Indeed, that is a big one. All while Eero is wasting a bit of space and time. Even if they get that kill onto Eero, so what? Static Storm's down, we're cool with that. Here we go, mid lane. That's going to be a great glimpse. See you later, Borani. I have no idea where he's gone, but it's not going to matter because they're going to send Neferit back to the Fountain Shibe on the chase. He's chasing like he has Arena and Bramer running like he has it, but he doesn't. And Bramer just done with fighting for now. Uh, now that Aqua's got the PKB with uh, an added plate mill, he is very tanky. You need a lot of damage to take down this Razor in quick fashion, because the longer the fight lasts, the stronger he becomes. And a 3k net with lead for Chicken Fighters, they somehow managed to claw their way back after uh, a couple of very good catches on the brain cores. Oh yeah, those two are going to be instrumental for them. Wish a bit scarier now, even to the Storm Spirit, uh, with the Sonic Boom Shard now online. And uh, once again, Brame, their hunt squad is not too bad. It's not that amazing either, at least when compared to the amount of vision and potential uh, control and surprise that the two Chicken Fighter support grants. Uh, but they are severely hampered by the fact that this Tier 1 mid-tower uh, is still alive, still being healed constantly. It's almost back to full HP, and Chicken Fighters are still in the area willing to defend it. So Brame, I don't really feel like they've got a lot of plays to make if they want to be playing aggressively, which, to be fair, they haven't really shown that. They don't really want to be playing too aggressively. They just want Nefret to get farmed. Yeah, but even if he's got the Manta style, he doesn't really want to take a fight. You know, you really need that BKB in this game. Not that it's like... The saving craze because they do have two ways of still piercing PKP, but there's definitely a. You need a lot more survivability on the PA because you did point out very importantly that they don't have many saves. The Disruptor gl uh, Glimmer is about it, and while well, the pipe, of course, with the Ravage to try and control the enemies, but uh, they can circumvent that by to tossing a lot of rays of physical damage, who is going to add in the Refresh Orb as his next item as well. Yeah, that's that Razor Power Spike. Classic two items, the EE build, as the Glimpse is good to force at least the BKB. Not really much Skylar can do here. Doesn't even manage to get off a backstroke. And with that, it seems like Chicken Fighters immediately turn towards Roche. Still with the rest of this Eye of the Storm online. It's level two, the armor reduction on that, of course, not to be ignored alongside the Swarm and this full Solar Crest online. Roche's armor is going to be ticking, ticking, ticking away. But Brain very willing to fight this. There's a buyback as well here for Skylark, because they're going to be able to make the jump onto the Tree Protector. Quite tanky, though. He's not going to go down to the Sharpshooter. Disruptor still alive as we get a pause by Borania. Quick little freeze. Um, probably the worst time to pause the game, I might yep. add. <laughs> yep, but Disruptor still alive. No, he's not. Shibe is going to toss that spear of his down Spartan's throat, and now they're going to make the jump forward again as there's another no! pause. Razor can't move. Okay, we'll quick reconnect. Ought to fix that. I, I mean, know, uh, to, Alf, but Valve. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, and I will show the replay to attest to this, he has literally done nothing in this fight. The fight broke out. I think he maybe casted Static Storm, 
and then he's done nothing. Yeah, here I'll show you. And then we'll cut. We'll hold on. We'll cut through there. Oh yeah, we got some time anyway. He's quickly reconnect, re probably restarting the entire game. Yeah. I, I've still seen some nasty uh, issues these days. Have you had? He doesn't move from there. Bug. <laughs> Yep, and then yeah. paused, and then they're about to get going. Oh, yeah, the, the reconnect bug. Well, it's always well, reconnected, so knock on wood that we don't get that one. And there he is. He just doesn't move again. So as we can see, pretty big issue there. As we get the G, how will this fight break down from here? As Aqua now needed to get back up onto the high ground to support Storm Spirits. Storm's already down for the count, and effort is slow. No, he's going to go down. He was alive on a hair of HP. I thought maybe he'd be able to jump away, but no such chance for him. And Aqua reconnecting out from the river. No BKB active, still managing to run down a couple of enemies. They need that big ravage in these fights. No bling yeah. damage yet on 11. Didn't want to buy back either because, well, he is so very close towards that blink. And it is definitely a difference maker in the team fights if he can get a big one off. Era in the meantime, just cutting the creep wave, getting a lot of farm on the Weaver. That just feels great. Yeah, you and have some time. Oh, careful here. Arena, no, is not going to come through because of the static storm. Skylark still just swimming around to ship a BKBs to secure the kill. Double BKB charge committed, in fact. That's bought time, though, for the PA to naturally respawn. Is she ready for fighting? Not really. Not really, but perhaps without double BKBs available, maybe you can look to force something. It's at least kept chicken fighters from taking Roche, so there's something to be said for that, certainly. But yeah, Skylark... Uh, or 11 here on the Tidehunter, he's decided to go for a full pipe first item. Um, and uh, this is only noteworthy because, well, it's a pipe, right? Like, this item is is typically kind of ignored. Normally, yeah. I mean, I can't get behind it because he just wants that aura to keep his uh, allies alive. For the most part, the damage on the chicken fight site is magical. Uh, there's definitely some physical added in there, of course. The Razor you know, is, for the most part, physical with the Static Link and with the uh, Eye of the Storm. So you do have to kind of keep an eye on both uh, damage sources this game. But yeah, you don't really see a pipe often or like yeah. any more being built whatsoever. And now they're just in the Roche bit. No one on the side of Raymond is even close yeah, to agreed. dealing with it. And we, uh, I just point this out. I mean, again, I, I think you make valid points here. But well, we saw a Zeus game earlier in game number one. As there goes Bora. He goes, oh boy, and Aegis. Thank you, guys. Uh, we saw a Zeus game earlier. And the enemies decided, you know what, pipe, not good enough. Just a simple hood of defiance on the offlaner, and we'll be fine. And yeah, Zeus got a lot of kills, right? But I just, I figure, you know, if you're playing against a Zeus and you still decide Pipe's not worth it, I I have to beg the question if Pipe's worth it this game. You know, I, I think so far, Bram have played a very, very good early game so that, you know, the the fact that the Tide Blink was delayed by however much, however many minutes has not really made that big of a difference. Uh, but... Like you were saying, the only reason I brought this up is because a couple minutes ago, to quote you, you said, uh, oh, I feel like we need to get some big ravages in here, and we, we just haven't had any. We've had one bottom. Yeah, now they've got, of course, that uh, Aegis on the storm as well, so it's going to take a lot of time to kill off Borniak. He's got the BKB ready. He's got a decent amount of HP and the Aegis. This uh, storm isn't going to die very quickly. No. And honestly... Um, yeah, instead of the pipe, getting the earlier Blink Dagger, first of all, is great. But it also means that you would probably get an earlier Heaven's Halberd, which I think it is, of course, against the Razor, like the perfect game to get a Heaven's Halberd. Mm, good point. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. You'll just go for a hood. I, I see the point for a hood. I have no qualms against a hood. I think they're very important, especially during the winter months, to keep your ears warm. But the full pipe... I think that's a little bit maybe excessive in a game like this. Yeah, I have in Talbert is a strikingly good item. And here is really where this chicken fighters lineup it starts to get scary as the refresher is finished for Aqua. Double BKB charge, uh, so 12 seconds of magic immunity, two Eye of the Storms that fully stack, of course. Double static links, which fully stack, of course. And, uh, well, that's about it. I mean, it sounds underwhelming, but it is very difficult to fight into. Especially for a PA, right? Because normally PA can jump in and out of these fights with the Phantom Strike. You only get the one reset. Razor's got two for you. And PA doesn't have the BKB uh, in general. Not that it matters against a Static Link, but just in general, it's 
very annoying to try and stay alive otherwise. Wish does have his one finished up though, so that is a big plus for the side of Brame if they want to take a fight. Still need yeah. to be very careful in case you get uh, overgrowth rooted, you, you'd still die. Yeah, but I like the choice of going for the Shivas next against that very nasty tree and healing the uh, living armor, the lead seed, and he oh, also has a out. full hole with locket. Oh, this map read. Oh, they were head and bottom. Wish is uh, going to read the map decently well, and of course with this ward, it's going to see a couple enemies coming his way, and will retreat further into these trees. What's he thinking about? I don't think he can kill Bora. There's no way he kills Bora. Bora's TP in middle because there's a fight. There's the refresh, the first one. Eleven is getting walked, taking my watermelon for a walk, but the blink dagger off means that he is going to, be able to break the link, and it's only Spartan who dies in exchange for the refresher. Double BKB on Aqua, BKB on Shibe, Arena of Blood. Yeah, quite a commitment there, only for Spartan. He lives for these kinds of trades. Well, specifically, he dies for them, but he really enjoys them. Yeah, one glimmer, and uh, he's gone. Like, they had no detection ready to throw that deep. The race was ahead of everyone in his team. So they had no way of uh, throwing out any invis detection. Actually, they only have a dust on tree. Oh, the Mars also has one. He does have that blink, so could have gotten a little bit uh, closer now that he has it finished. But I think he might have just gotten it delivered. He's actually 7, 1, and 5 on Zibby. Jeez. What a game. Blink dagger online now. He is... Part of me, most certainly a force to be reckoned with. Uh, I, you know, I really like the armlet. I said that uh, earlier, you know, it does leave you, uh, leave your storm specifically a little bit more forced to play with your supports, but they can because they've got good vision. As speaking of, there's Arrow, Mansa style though, to spell the silence as 11. Again, still holding on to the threat of the Ravage. In fact, oh. they look to turn now for the Storm Spirit. Sonic Boom silencing him for a second as they will put back Shibe. Oh, okay, and even snipe the first life and remove the DD rune there from the Storm Spirit. So Bora coming back with a Vengeance full mana. That's a great overgrowth. They managed to actually find Wish after he pops the BKB, but they don't jump him. They're looking instead for other targets. 11, free to Ravage now if he pleases. The Static Storm is going to be shrugged off by Aqua on his BKB. They're now looking for Peksu, who's already used his overgrowth, so doesn't really have much to offer in this fight, but a beefy target for Brame to chew through. And it's going to be Chicken Fighters losing the Aegis as well as losing their position 5, but not much else in this engagement. Oh, so maybe... Sorry, I thought they were catching shit, but he's good. In that fight, Eleven sees two BKB targets in front of him, the Razor and the Storm, so he can't really Ravage comfortably, but at one point, you know, he should probably use that, item, uh, that spell because he, <laughs> he just keeps a hold of it for the entire game. There was an arena whiff, there was a sonic wave that only hit one target. There were, like, the only one that actually hit his spells was Peksu on the treant, and that was a really good overgrowth oh, to make yeah. sure the quap can't blink. But they just, uh, they but didn't go for him either, yeah. which I thought was weird. Era is maybe dead here. Will I cut out of replay for this? Sure. Sharpshooter, dispelling the dust, he's out of there. That was a, a fight of a lot of whiffs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it and was. only one tree and dying. Yeah, you know what it was? Uh, Eleven went, you know what, guys? Everyone's whiffing your spells. I don't want to be part of this low light. I'm just going to hold on to my Ravage. Thank you very much. We don't need it. I don't want to. I don't want to be no. part of this. Chicken fighters have gone a very much too aggressive a couple of times. Maybe he was hoping that they'd continue fighting after the BKBs, but it was a good move from uh, the, the ch fighters over yep. chickens to uh, back off the moment BKBs are gone. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I believe this was answered by their social media. And by the way, you should follow these guys. They're definitely worth a follow. Uh, I think someone asked them, do you guys fight chickens or are you, like, chickens that fight? I don't remember what the answer was. But to find out, yeah, I've seen that check them out one as on well. Twitter. But I also don't remember what the answer was. Me neither. But you know what? That's that's a perfect segue to, to also, you know, follow Brame as well. These up-and-coming teams, of course. We're going to see who the true up-and-coming two teams are because these are best-of-one tiebreakers. Up next, Brame playing versus Entity. So Entity looking to, to see whatever strats, whatever they can learn from Brame. Uh, so far, I would say the only thing that they've learned is uh, Spartan is denying himself to Tier 2 Towers with full HP and mana. What is that about? For what? Dyer's they gotta, they gotta be on the lookout for that one. It's uh, an interesting slow game for the time being. Peksu does have that blink dagger now as well, so he'll be able to uh, uh, get a backline okay. jump in, which Sh would be great with the Mars. Yeah, Shibe's just gonna say hi to Nefret, but of course Nefret with a BKB and 
untold allies behind him, potentially. They don't end up actually fighting. Just a little bit of flirting there. Uh, Nefert has his own BKB now, um, and almost an Axe Scepter for Weaver. Era is actually just one CS off of it now. Uh, there's a couple of other big power spikes coming. I think that's a good thing uh, to focus on. Uh, Razor with a full AC finished, and now a Blink Dagger for Treant Protector. But dare I say here, DK Sherwin, that Chicken Fighters are kind of starting to flatten their power spike a little bit, so to speak. Like yep, I, it's I, a P8, and it's getting towards late game. Uh, yes. So you get lucky, you know, three crits in a row, and the entire enemy team's dead. Yes. That's kind of what I'm scared of, especially if, you know, here's the thing, right? Eleven's like, guys, if I don't use Ravage, they're going to forget about it. I land one big one, you crit twice, we win the game. That could be it. Also, right <laughs> Frit has the 35% blur evasion awesome. talent right now, so he's walking around with 88% evasion. Oh, that's a problem. How do you that's kill him? That's a very big problem. No MKBs. For the Razor, nothing yet queued up. Maybe a Bloodthorn eventually, as there's going to be the jump in. Great kill there on a Spartan. Buys back instantly, of course. Six second TP incoming, but they've once again landed a pretty good uh, overgrowth onto the Quap. Oh, the Ravage is out. It only hits oh, one, no. though, because Aqua is going to turn with the BKB number one. It's a dieback for Spartan. He, he lives like Grocery a he song. lives and dies like a star, man. He's goes in and out with an explosion. He's so bright, that man. It's not been the 11 show this game, not gonna lie. <laughs> that Ravage was very sad, uh, especially considering you're holding on to it for most of the game. Well, the unfortunate, yeah, the real unfortunate part is Roche is up now. Second Roche, you don't have a Ravage, you don't have a Static Storm. How do you fight this? Enemies still with an arena. It's gonna be a nice pickup. Acceptor for Weaver. So even if you did catch. Uh, you know, a hero there with the Ravage. Weaver likely saves them. Or you just kill Weaver with Ravage, and that doesn't feel fun. Who do you give the shard to? I say you give it to Weaver. Okay. Unironically. Want the latch on detection? Yeah, that's what I'd want it for. For against the PA, a blur. Otherwise, she blurs 80% evasion. What do you do? Who would they give it to, though? Probably uh, no idea. Oh, it's gonna be the storm uh, using it, I guess. I mean, overload's nice. -ish. Okay. You know what? Is actually, this not 25 talent. It's a cool. Actually, it's really damn good, right? Because think about think about it. Uh, magic damage versus effort. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course. Uh, still pretty tanky, regardless on that PA. Does have the bash you know done as well. True. I, I think it adds up, though. I think it's the only way you really get through. Or down bottom, Squirrel is going to be killed. Bora is going to hold on to his BKB, of course, because he's not scared of Wish. Not anymore. I wish I could be forced back. I declare, DK Truman, I think that Moist. this is probably Chicken Fighters with this Aegis. I think this is their best five minutes for the rest of the game to win. I think it, it only gets harder for them from here. I think they can still very easily do it. Don't get me wrong. It's, it is Brame after all. I love them to death, but sometimes they don't take the best fights, especially uh, and into the late game. And late game is so, so swing heavy that it can it can really turn against them. But with this five-minute Aegis, I think this is Chicken Fighter's best chance. Especially if they can just get a pickoff. Yeah. I mean, this is looking pretty good already. Dead for 90 seconds. See you later, Wish. It's got buyback. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem for the Quap, especially considering they have no vision in their own jungle, so they have no idea where the chicken fights are. You can pretty much come to the conclusion that with a storm on the enemy side, they're always right next door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're right there. He's going to be there. Not quite the global hero a la Spectre. Uh, but not far from it. Hello. You're going to make the jump very easily on Spartan. Nice four staff out of the arena. It's only going to be 11 inside. He dispels himself. Phantom Blades, though, is in goes Nefert. Looking for a kill onto anyone, but he just cannot fight at all. Shibay BKB's off the break. There's the jump back out as Wish is going to tag team on in. Uh, but, oh, my goodness, Bora's got eyes for one man only, and his name is Spartan. He will be dropped, but Bora's gone a bit too deep. The support's trying to follow, will not be able to live too much longer. It does manage to TP out in time, but he goes forward. He overextends the team fight a bit, and the double buyback there is committed to punish a bit of Chicken Fighters over aggression. 
I mean, even though they went, you know, slightly over aggressive in their attempt there, I still have to say, they are so good on the move on chicken fighters. The moment BKBs are gone, you know, they don't want to give Eleven a chance to get a good ravage in. They just disengage, fall oh, back. Yeah. The dive, of course, was a little bit too deep considering, uh, you know, the four staff and Glimmer Cape really kept Spartan alive for quite some time. But Eleven's just not getting a chance to work his magic here. Oh, they almost got Bora as well. Very frustrating. Of course, he's going to be a bit too speedy. And with that gem, he can really just afford to chase Spartan to the ends of the earth, can't he? What a nice fight. Uh, you are correct about that, though. I think part of this, you're right, it's not really Eleven's best game. But Chicken Fighters playing very well around the throat of the Ravage, especially now as they do scout him very easily. Double Ward's committed here. So there's a long-range old zip. This time, Ravage is going to catch a couple of heroes, but the follow-up isn't immediately there. And even if it is, it's just going to be the first life here out of the Storm Spirit, if that, because Bloodstone keeping him alive a lot longer here. And in fact, so is Era. There is finally the nuke out from Wish as the BKB is going to be popped by Nefert. He finds a bash here onto Shibe. The break is good. Can he actually get the kill? Indeed he does as he's going to be able to dispel the overgrowth immediately with the Mantis style. Silence now and pulled in by the Vortex. Bora starting to pop up, but he's got to back up because of that static storm. That leaves Aqua all alone on the wrong side of the river. The time lapse though is going to get onto the right side of the river. And Brame are going to be only left with a Mars after that fight. Well, only after oh. left killing a Mars. That went uh, a whole lot left and right. The glimpse, sending back the razor, and then immediately, well, slightly later, the time lapse to get him out of that position again. That was some uh, dragging back and forth shenanigans. But the big problem there for chicken fights was they did not have the static link completely ready to take Nefrit down and drop his damage. Even though he doesn't necessarily do the most amount of damage for a PA at this point in the game, you still really need to make sure that you have a static link on top of the PA to keep him out of the fights. But yep. regardless, that was uh, that was such a wild engagement with, again, barely anyone dying. Only two deaths. Only two deaths. One buyback. Uh, an Aegis being reclaimed. And uh, I, I think this is much more foreboding, perhaps, than the deaths make it look like. Uh, now that we have Tier 4s online, I think... Well, both teams, of course, I mean, you would assume equally as strong because, you know, the RNG of neutrals. But I, I think Brame is just a much stronger team as we head into the late game. Oh, this is a Penta Edge sword now for the PA. Even more damage to crit off of. No one holding the butterfly. Uh, sorry, no one holding the telescope, nor that flicker, quite surprisingly. Let's see what everyone else is holding. Uh, Spartan's still holding on to a Tumblr's toy. I think that... Uh, I don't know if it... <laughs> really makes that big of a difference. I, not sure. I, I would much rather see the telescope on him if I'm being completely honest. Well, but yes, obviously for attack. obvious reasons. <laughs> okay, glad I'm <laughs> glad I'm not alone there and uh, thinking. But yeah, uh, Nafit, he's pretty much done with the MKB the moment the Razor finishes up his Butterfly. So he sees the build on the Razor and uh, counters it immediately as well. Level 25s are almost up, though, on both sides, and that's where uh, a lot of fun stuff will be coming through. Pop actually went for the spell block talent, so we'll be able to at least divert By the one way, of the tools on no the one, fight side. No one with buyback on Bram. Smoke fight into Smoke fight 11. Has another Ravage. He's going to go ahead and pop it. Doesn't catch anyone but the Tree and Protector. Spartan is down. Bora's onto the Squirrel now, who bought back earlier in the fight, in the game. Down she goes now, and they're going to turn back for Nefret. He is blown up. Doesn't have the buyback. Wish trying to salvage this fight here. Good damage here onto Bora, but the Bloodstone heal keeping him alive through all of the damage. Finally, he's taken down as Eleven's going to spit on him, but that's all he's got left. Shibe is going to take him down for the triple kill. And that time, Chicken Fighters get it right. Four heroes dead for Bram to the two of Chicken Fighters. That was so chaotic. Yeah, it was pretty much two miniature skerfuffles in two different areas. The PA, uh, Nefrit, jumped very aggressively to try and get rid of the support. Pretty much the same as Chicken Fighters did. They sent their Storm, which is a lot more mobile than a PA. So the Storm was able to immediately jump and take them down. But Wish, ooh, dodges it. Very yeah, nice, yeah, quick nice fingers dodge. with the Storm Crafter. Oof, I had to cut away from replay for that. But that's... But yeah, uh, Nefrit just got caught by a Static Link and pulls him out of the fight. 
It's a lane of barracks. Only one. Both teams still have their uh, safe lane, uh, sorry, their off lane tier one tower still alive. Uh, and, and in fact, chicken fighters still have their mid lane tier one tower uh, alive, much thanks to the train protector for that. But it looks like chicken fighters are not leaving without two sets of barracks here at mid and top. Not lane is being shoved out now by Bram as we speak, as backdoor kicks in. Not going to really make much of a difference against an Eye of the Storm. He's not taking the Eye of the Storm target, but he has taken the Strike Interval, and that is certainly going to help. Uh, the big problem this game is, yeah, the two cores of Braim are very farmed. Nifrit top net with Wish is third. But look at the supports and 11. He's, or, he's beaten by Era. Pex is not even that far behind him. No, he's and the Hoodwink and Disruptor have no farm whatsoever. Like a Glimmer Cape and a Four Staff. Those are the only items they've got finished. Oh, and yep. Well, I mean, there's buyback now for Spartan. He might end up just using it in this engagement here as the BKB is through from Shibe. He's going to be uh, just sharpshooter goes right through him. There's buyback from Spartan. Shibe doesn't have a BKB anymore, but the overgrowth is good to catch Wish. Stormcrafter, though, is going to allow him to at least blink to safety. Bora's going to chase. Has BKB. There's no Ag Scepter here, uh, of course, for uh, Spartan. So he can just BKB and walk out of that static storm. But, okay, maybe a little bit scary for Bora there. They get the BKB charge out, and Roche is up in a minute. No Arena, no Eye of the Storm. Bora, but a Refresher in two here, actually. Good force, good force. Again, no one with buyback here, Truman. No one with buyback on Brahim. And they still take these engagements. I love it, but also yes. my heart rate. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Walking up the high ground. Yeah, Stop let's look poking good. Aqua. <laughs> He's... <laughs> Don't you know? You're you're a watermelon. Water is weak to electricity. It's very scary. Yeah, it's uh, it's not necessarily the greatest position to oh. watch towards. Tide does have that Lotus done, though. TD and rune for Nefret. This, maybe this is where we turn it. They're wasting no time. They're going right in. The ward is up. Aqua is here as well. Ravage immediately point black. Deleted. Oh. Absolutely deleted from the game. It's uninstalled on his C drive. He's reinstalling it right now, and he could do so at a moment's notice and will, because he's got five back. Mars is back in the engagement as well, but Nefert still with this double damage rune, a threat and a force to be reckoned with. Without Ravage, however, Aqua feeling pretty good. Not feeling pretty good as Pexu, because he almost got one shot by the dagger as the Quap goes in, trying to secure the kill. It's a bit too slow. Aqua now gets off the link, but it's reflected. The bash onto one. There's the crit we're looking for. That's going to be Bora without buyback for 100 seconds. Pexu was cleared as well, but Nefert Nefret's on the run. He's got another Phantom Strike away, but the blur keeps him alive. And in trouble is Aqua. Lots of damage stolen. The biggest debuff bar in the world. But even that debuff bar is not going to save him, as he is cleaned up by Bram through his second life, who now have a prize of Roshan and potentially even this game to claim. What was that? <laughs> Double damage coming in clutch. Oh my lord, the load sword from the tide as well, making sure that Nefreet can continue fighting the entire time without losing any damage. And, well, as you said, the prize is right in front of them. A free Aghanim Scepter. Oh. Of course, the Age and Cheese are always nice, but a free Aghanim Scepter to be picked up on the brain side. That was also the moment Storm. He just bought out his Ags. So oh. he had no money for a buyback. It just got delivered. Uh, it, it's, it's nothing short of tragic. It really is for chicken fighters. Now for now, he's going to be carrying this blur. And my goodness, what an upgrade. We already saw his life saved potentially once there by blur. He would have bought back the Roche anyway, of course. But now, effort is going to be feeling really darn good. And chicken fighters, they are staring down the double barrel here of, well, not quite elimination, but certainly not a promotion for upper division. They fought hard all season, sharing a record now with Brame and Entity. But up to the high ground with an Aegis, with a Cheese, with a free Axe Blessing. Goes Nefret and backed by the boys of Brame. Storm, of course, oh, quite, coming in clutch. Yeah, I was about to say, Storm, of course, quite famous <laughs> at being able to lay these games, but not against the pipe of 11. It was for this, the 45-minute pipe, baby. This is when it comes in clutch. But unfortunately, for Brame. They will have to make another push. Everyone's respawning soon. And, uh, well, against a uh, train protector, these side towers are mighty healed. So they're going to have to make another concentrated effort here. Chicken fighters, not out of it yet. But if they had one foot in, they're basically doing the hokey pokey with elimination here right now with one whole leg in. 
I mean, this is uh, that fight was insane, but the fact that Roche just respawned as well, you're in such an uncomfortable spot. And how, how are you going to handle this at the moment? Aqua is going for a Shadow Blade, trying to get that Silver Edge to break the PA, which of course is going to be very good if you manage to get it done. It's not going to be uh, an easy affair because right now you've got that load sub, you've got the pipe, refresher on the tide for the double ravage as well. They've got ways to keep... Hoodwink also has a Lotus. Uh, you know, they're starting to finally get some items here on the yeah. Brain Heroes that pretty much have had nothing this game. That's true. Spartan, yeah, has an item. On top of the gem, actually has a little bit of net worth to his name. Yeah, especially like a Ghost Sept, it keeps you alive for slightly longer in the fights. He's been jumped immediately, taken down at the start every single time. He also has the shard now, which helps uh, the PA immensely in moving around the fight. And as you mentioned, the Aghanim Scepter, that's going to make uh, this PA very hard to control in a team fight because he just needs to throw one dagger to connect to you know either the treant or the weaver and they get blown to smithereens yep either of these supports especially weaver and it's so hard to play these save games i mean anyone who's played wisp or oracle uh or dazzle against a pa especially i mean she's just notorious for this isn't she oh you, you want to save your allies what if i just uh killed them in one hit what are you gonna do then oh you're gonna cry okay well fair enough that's i mean what else are you gonna do it's it's awful. You play such a great game. You, you pop off so hard on Era. You buy an Aeon disc, so maybe you don't get one shot. But what do you do when your teammates get one shot? What's this Ags for? Oh, it just feels awful, man. Yep, yeah, there's still, of course, a chance. Brame has had some very unfavorable engagements before. A Ravage whiff here and there. But right now, of course, with that refresher, uh, he's got an extra chance to... Uh, to blow his ulti on 11. So you can use the first one as kind of a bait to force the enemies back in their feet. Also, of course, with the triple stifling dagger right now, yeah. he's getting closer towards the, and, uh, the more fun talents as well. And Wish, who I've always really liked, especially as a mid laner, for his creative build, has actually built a refresher as well. I think, I'm sorry if you just said this, but it also refreshes the spell block talent. Little known fact. Uh, so he has basically a Lincoln's and a half. That's really annoying. I think um, what I'm very surprised by is that no one has decided it's worth to upgrade the the blood uh, into a Bloodthorn against this PA. I mean, I guess she does have way too many dispels at this stage, but without an MKB, I just... How do you kill her? How do you hope to kill her? What is a start? Like, that's, that's just going to be the biggest question mark for me this game. How? I like Aqua's choice of going for the Silver Edge for the break effect. But, okay, uh, fair. Yeah. No, it's... you're right, that's fair. That, that cannot be dispelled, I believe. Yeah, no, it cannot. Nefrit, though, pushing the high ground. It's going to take a, a little bit longer for the Razor to be able to, of course, get to that point. And Nefrit still has that ages for 25 seconds. Perfect time to start pushing the high ground at the moment. The a bit of a zip. Storm, trying to annoy them a a ravage. Bit, but the oh. Ravage on the backlight comes out. Eleven gets his first goal and they blow him up and Aqua's dead. Aqua's dead. There's the refresh. They're ready to go in for more. The Tree Protector is up next. He is going to be kept alive a bit longer, but the second Sonic Wave will clean him up. Aqua without a buyback for a minute and 45 seconds. This isn't exactly game, but they're losing heroes at an unsustainable rate here, Truman. They still have Barracks top. They still have a tier two top, that is, and a tier one. So this wouldn't be the Megas, but now without a Mars, just a Storm and a Weaver, Brame could just look to straight up end. I think they will. 11 finally comes in clutch. Big double ravage. Nothing that the Razor can do. Aqua gets completely Big destroyed. zip. It's a good one. 11, though, dispelling it immediately. Bora trying to do whatever he can, but they found Era with the Abyssal Blade. He's down. So much damage being dealt by Storm, but not nearly enough. Still alive, though. Holding on. Buyback on the Razor in a minute. Do you have that much time, though? One minute to win it here for Chicken Fighters. Just the first life. The second buyback committed. The last buyback for another 50 seconds, but immediately into a silence. Oh, the time lapse. The time lapse saves him. Nefrit looking for Era. Is not going to find it. Back to the throne he goes. Bora with another jump. Another silence, but Nefrit still controlled. Bora going in again. Nefrit still alive. Nefrit falling low. The Manta not going to be good enough, but the throne is falling so low. 70 HP and taken down. Brame have just destroyed chicken fighters in the late game. They have condemned them to stay in Division 2 for